So um, it's a great pleasure to welcome all of you to the John Curtin School of Medical Research today for our first annual conference uh, on translational research on the brain, accelerating the pathway from discovery to healthcare. So the goal for the conference was to provide a forum in which you could bring together people who do very fundamental research and then gradually go towards more applied work all the way to uh, public health implications. So it's a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Uh, Warwick Anderson to open the conference now. So Dr. Anderson, as all of you know, is the CEO of NHMRC, and he was appointed to that position by the Minister for Health and Aging in 2006. Uh, Professor Anderson obtained uh, a Bachelor of Science from the University of New England in 1968 and his PhD from the University of Adelaide in 1972. He then spent three years at Harvard before returning to the University of Sydney. Uh, he was subsequently appointed Deputy Director of the Baker Medical Research Institute, and from 2001 to 2006, he was Head of School of Biomedical Science at Monash. He's published more than 150 scientific papers, primarily in integrative cardiovascular and renal physiology and high blood pressure. And he has made very significant contributions over many years to the community, research societies, and numerous boards and committees. And he was chairman of NHMRC's research committee between 1997 and 2003. In January 2005, Professor Anderson was made a member of the Order of Australia for his service to health and medical research through his leadership roles within the NHMRC and to the development of medical science at Monash University, as well as to the field of uh, hypertension and renal physiology research. So it's a great pleasure to have uh, Professor Anderson here, and we'd like to welcome him. Well, thank you, Julia. And uh, I should begin with uh, a word of apology. Uh, as you, uh, I'm sure, all know, we don't have a government at the moment, and uh, NHMRC is a government uh, body. And uh, uh, I have to run away at the end of this for a briefing over in the Department of Health of how we're supposed to behave until we do have a uh, uh, a new minister in place. It's the uh, since I report directly to the Minister for Health, it's the first time in my life I actually haven't had a boss. It seems fantastic, really. Uh, first of all, let's, uh, let's acknowledge uh, uh, the traditional owners of the land that uh, we're on today. I think you all know that the NHMRC's uh, prime priority area is in Indigenous health, and uh, I think uh, 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 today's... Uh, meeting is very relevant to some of the many health issues that our, our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders uh, face. Um, I'm very pleased when Julia asked me to uh, to open the, the, the meeting, uh, uh, being a, amongst a bunch of scientists and researchers is a is a nice thing for uh, for somebody who used to be one. Um, and of course, these are very important times for. Uh, health and medical research uh, uh, in the world. Um, I think that we all understand that improvements in health here in Australia and around the world become more and more dependent on evidence, and of course evidence comes from uh, research. Um, it's also appropriate, of course, that we're uh, here in the John Curtin School with a long history in neuroscience and uh, translational neuroscience, but certainly given much boost uh, with uh, the new director. Uh, I don't have to tell people in this room, of course, that there's much yet to learn at the basic biology of the brain end, and despite all the progress we've made in recent years, uh, some of it by Australians, but around the world. Um, uh, we've only really just begun, I think, to understand how the brain and our nervous system uh, truly works and the role it plays in uh, homeostasis and in pathogenesis. And uh, I remember when I first went to, uh, to Monash from the Baker uh, uh, about 12 years Years ago, there was somebody in my department there working on uh, repair functions of the brain. I remember uh, laughing at her uh, in an intellectual way, of course, that uh, uh, we all knew that all you did was lose neurons. Uh, that's a cardiovascular physiologist speaking. Uh, but, of course, now we understand the most incredible um, uh, science uh, insights into repair of the brain. 
So we will need uh, a sustained effort over decades, I think, uh, to really understand the basic fundamental physiology of the brain, but we can't wait until then, uh, we can't wait until we know all there is to know before we begin to translate the knowledge into benefits for patients. And so I do congratulate uh, the Director and John Curtin on this conference and uh, I hope that it's a great success and it builds momentum across the future. So, uh, Julio, thanks uh, again for uh, doing this. I hope it's uh, one of many bright spots for you in your first experience of a Canberra winter following such a, a cold, uh, a cold uh, week. Let me just say a couple of last things. Um, uh, those of you who have helped with peer review this, uh, this year, either um, uh, serving on our grant review panels or doing external uh, assessments of grants, let me thank you from the bottom of my heart. The whole NHMRC system relies on, of course, peer review, which means uh, all of you helping each other uh, with assessments of grants. It's the fifth week of our peer review panels, uh, 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 a total of over 400 researchers sitting uh, in our building about uh, 400 metres from here looking at a record 3,344 applications uh, for this year. I want to especially thank you if you've been an external assessor. Um, uh, the system absolutely relies in Australia on uh, assess, uh, assessments from people not on the GRP panels. We fund the same range of research as NIH, uh, but of course are about uh, a 40th of the size. And so our panels are very mixed. The panels do rely on external assessments. And uh, the second spokesperson uh, now has a special responsibility to ensure that the GRPs bring the scores by the external assessors and the assessments themselves to the panel and are the, are the uh, um, supporter of uh, the external assessments. Um, finally, um, we have supported, of course, neuroscience research over many years. Some of you will uh, think that we should have done more, but of course what we support is, uh, is a peer review uh, agreement. And uh, over, the last, uh, uh, over the last year, the total neuroscience uh, research investment by the NHMRC is around $47 uh, million and another $68 million uh, for mental health more broadly. Um, we are uh, a funding scheme that funds across the, uh, what is increasingly known as the four pillars. That's clinical research, health services research, public health and basic research, and basic research remains the, uh, the largest uh, pillar of those. Uh, almost 65% of our funds over the last decade have been in, uh, in basic research. So best wishes uh, for, the, uh, for the rest of the conference. Uh, I'm sorry I've got to run away, otherwise I would have had much more fun than being told what we can and cannot do in a caretaker government. And Julio, I think I'm meant to... Uh, introduce you as if you need any introduction to this group, but let me do it anyhow. So as you know, he's the director here and heads the Translational uh, Medicine Department. Arrived here uh, at the end of last winter in uh, Canberra's wonderful uh, spring in September. Uh, and prior to that, uh, worked for 25 years, a number of uh, organisations in the United States uh, University of Chicago, Albert Einstein, College of Medicine, Cornell, Yale and NIH. And uh, his last appointment prior to coming here was Director of Translational Science Graduate Program and Vice Chairman of Psychiatry at the University of California, uh, Los Angeles and Chairman of Psychiatry and Associate Dean Translational Science at the University of Miami. Um, he currently serves NIH and uh, indeed NHMRC. We had him over for a week of hard work uh, two weeks ago, I think. Um, and uh, uh, he's also the founding editor of uh, a Molecular Biology and Pharmacogenetics Journal, the Pharmacogenetics uh, Genomics Journal, uh, both outstanding journals uh, uh, by the Nature Publishing Group. So, Julia, congratulations uh, um, being here. Thank you for uh, 
uh, organise this conference. Thank you for your help with the National Health and Medical Research Council, and my apologies for having to now run away. So thanks very much. Now we would like to thank you, uh, Warwick, for having come here during this very uh, difficult time in the government with a caretaker government. So it's amazing that you could make the time to be here, and we really appreciate it. So thank you very much.